Hey guys, it's Glassboxed here and today we'll be going ahead and talking a little bit more about committing files and a little bit more about reverting a file. So in the previous video we talked about how to change a file that we were about to commit and pulling it from staging and back into local. And we also talked about pulling a file from local changes and changing it to basically what it was based on the version in the repository. But hey, you know, what if we looked at it slightly differently? What if someone actually had committed a file to repository? What can you do then? So in this video, we're going to discuss uh, the idea of getting a file or getting a version of a file in a previous version in our repository. We're going to assume that at some point someone accidentally committed a file and completely changed everything and we now want to change it back to the way it was. So let's go ahead and do that. So before we do that we're just going to do a quick git status. Okay everything is clean fantastic. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the test folder open up tester1 and let's just uh, get rid of this as an example and save it and close it and let's just do a get status again okay so we can see that this has been changed okay let's just do a git diff just to make sure okay so we can see that this is what is currently in the repository and this is what is currently in our local version okay fine I'm just gonna go and add that file in in fact I'm not gonna do that git allows us to directly commit a file from our local and straight into the repository and can allow us to ignore staging altogether so how do we do that if I do git status again just to make sure okay so i have a file what i want to do is push that file straight into the repository and i want to ignore staging altogether how can i do that to do that all you do is git commit minus a m so in this case we know what git mine uh, git dash m does it allows us to write a message but git minus a we know it means all in this case what we're basically saying is take all the files and just commit them forget about staging okay so let's say we do something like this changing uh, test 01.txt file and just push that okay so now if I do something like I get status again there are no files everything is apparently the same so by using this command here we completely bypass staging more important if I do a git log I can see that it certainly did go as part of a direct commit it ignores staging altogether but hold on now if I go back to that file and just open it up through some intervention I've just realized oh no this is not the file I want there's a change in here you know there's a line there's a line that's supposed to be in here that doesn't exist anymore okay fine let me have a look at git status Oh no, looks like our repository is clean, or rather our local working directory is clean. Which means that change has been committed and, and that's it, I can't do anything about it. What can I do now? You know, that file is now in the repository. What I really want to do is get that change back to the way it was, get that file back to the way it was. Clearly, someone's made a mistake here and I don't want it here. So what can we do well there's really two things we can do the first is obviously go into that file manually write it back in and submit that and then that's it that's done now in this case this is a very small file you know i personally can vaguely remember what it was it was something to do with liking but you know what i really can't remember in say much bigger projects where a given file can have you know tens hundreds thousands of lines of code 
you can't do that you can't just manually remember everything so what we really want to do is somehow say that this commit has the change you know this commit to the repository has a change but I, what I really want to do is get the file that was in this commit instead so how can I do that well what we really want to do is basically say you know hey git there's a file in this commit somewhere and I want you to get that file you know, put it into my local working directory so how do we do that well this is how we do it we say git checkout now remember when we do checkout this is mainly uh, linked to our local working directory and I want to check out this commit here so how do I check out this commit how can I identify this as the commit well okay put everything aside for a second if you have a look at all of these commits they have what's called a commit number now this is a unique identifier for a given commit we can actually use this unique identifier to get information about a given commit in this case we want to get a file so the commit we want is this one here this is the last commit we had where we know the file in there was stable it was the version we want so what we can do is we can start typing in this number now as you can see all of these numbers are different and they are supposed to be different they're all supposed to be unique so I can type in the whole number now obviously I don't want to type in the whole number it's going to take me ages so instead I can just type in just the first few values of that given number in this case is 035C933 so let me just type that in so it was 035 C933. Now this number, because our commit log is so small at the moment, this number should be unique enough to get that commit. And now what we want to do is actually get the file that we're interested in. And the file we're interested in was test file 01. So now we need to actually provide the full path to that file. And to do that we do dash dash and then in this case it was test folder and then test or one and hit enter so now if we do a git status it's telling us that hey you've actually got that file now when we did git checkout remember like I said this is tied to local version but in this instance we are working with commits so when we work with commits they go directly into our staging environment so we know as a matter of fact that we can look at the diff of a modified file so if we now do a git diff and we say staged if we have a look at that file and enter we can now see that the repository has this however our stage file has that this is the version that we would like it to be this was the version at one point this is the version on a previous snapshot in our repository so this is good we can actually get that file we've got it into our stage environment now all we need to do is commit it so if we just say git commit minus m and let's just say reverting test01 dot txt back to its original form hit enter if i do get status again oops Is telling us that the working directory is clean great if I manually go to that file and open it up I can now see that the text has returned as I wanted it great so we've gone through a handful of videos now and we've talked about a lot of things that git allows us to do in this video we've talked about well we've assumed that at some point in time someone does commit something accidentally what we've essentially talked about is how to get that file from a previous version of a snapshot in our repository and we were really easily able to get that file all we had to do was somehow first figure out where the file was so we just assumed it was in here why because we physically knew that we made the mistake we kind of did it on purpose but 
we just kind of used our intuition and just go back to the previous commit. In reality, good practice is whenever you want to get a file, if you don't know what snapshot in your repository that file is in, the best way to think about it is just to go back one previous commit until you find the file in the state it's supposed to be in. So in this case, we knew it was in this snapshot. So all we did was we got the file. When we used checkout, the file went straight into our staging area. You know, Git didn't have to put it in the local area. We didn't really have to bother with it. It went straight into our staging area. We did a quick diff just to make sure if it was that file or not. And then we submitted it. And then we made sure that our working directory was exactly the same as our repository and in this case it was so that's how you can get a given file out of a previous commit in your repository to its former state another way to put it is this is how you can get a previous snapshot of a given file so remember in the very first video where i said git allows you to maintain snapshots it allows you to maintain versions of a given file this video demonstrates how git is really powerful in allowing you to do that anyway guys thanks a lot for watching until next time ciao hi guys this glass box here and i really appreciate you guys watching my video and if you've liked it then give it a thumbs up if you already haven't hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with my latest video releases covering all aspects of technical testing also follow me on twitter and google links in the description below until next time ciao